Earth atmosphere consists of gases such as oxygen and nitrogen, and other gases known as greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and methane. In coming light from the sun hit the Earth's surface, the Earth absorbs some of that energy hitting the surface of the planet. The rest of that energy gets reflected. Some of that energy goes back on into the space. The greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide trap the energy and send it right back to the Earth's surface and heating it up even more. This is known as the greenhouse effect. Now a little greenhouse effect is natural to the Earth and is a good thing to have but a large greenhouse effect can be catastrophic causing a lot of that energy to stay in our atmosphere and heat and some of the main human activities that affect greenhouse gases are burning fossil fuel animal agriculture deforestation waste and recycling pollution bulldozing land and deforestation not only emits greenhouse gases but get rid of plant trees and forests the things on our planet that actually absorb carbon dioxide the more we deforest our earth the less carbon dioxide it can absorb from our atmosphere. Solid waste landfills are some of the largest pollutants of methane gas. Imagine that the average person produces 4.3 pounds of trash per day. That's 1,569 pounds of trash per year for one person. With the 7 plus billion people that live on the globe, that's 11.6 trillion pounds trash dump into landfills every year. Rising temperatures makes the Earth's ocean become warmer which causes something known as ocean acidification which arises the acid levels in the oceans from the carbon dioxide reacting with the salt water. Climate change also causes more frequent and intense natural disasters such as hurricanes, flood, tornadoes, heat waves, and droughts. So the question is, how do we stop this? Instead of burning fossil fuels, we need to convert to renewable energy resources such as solar, wind power, hydroelectric system, geothermal power plant, and biomass energy system, which emit zero carbon emissions of operating energy from the sun and the wind are infinite unlike fossil fuels, we will never run out of them. Civil engineers from the solutions project calculated that we could power most of the world with only renewable energy if we just actually decided to do it. If we cut back on deforestation, not only does that reduce the amount of fossil fuels burned, but there will be more plants and forests actively absorbing carbon dioxide. If we use more reusable and renewable resources, this will reduce the amount of energy needed to create new products. This will also reduce the massive amount of landfills. That all sound like great, efficient, and healthy. But how can we help personally right now? You can drive an electric car or fuel-efficient car. Replacing your regular car with Toyota Prius, the average person can prevent the emission of about 1 ton of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Now, we all can't afford to just buy new in different cars, so to help, you can walk or ride a bike, take public transportation, or if anything, is or accelerator and make your car as efficient as air dryer clothes instead of using power guzzling machine like dryers. Turn off electronics or lights when you're not using them. Reduce, reuse, recycle, and of course, spread your knowledge and concerns about climate change. Remember, climate change is very real and is drastically affecting planet Earth, our home, and although we are the problem, but we can also be the solution.